Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. This is the section four of Python for Data Science course. In this video, we are going to discuss about NumPy array. So NumPy array is basically efficient. It store the data in an efficient way and it is faster. So there are multiple regions and uh, this is the very common region or very important region because of this, we use NumPy array. So now let's see some example, how we can create array using NumPy. Okay. So first we will type import NumPy and I can alias this as NP. So if you don't have NumPy library, so you have to install NumPy library first. And how we can install library, I have already shown you in my previous video, so you can use that. Okay. Now, let's say I'm taking one list, my list. And let's say I take value one, two, three. And now I'm using NP dot array numpy array and I will pass here my list. So see, so this is the basically one dimension array and we can also create two dimension array as well in numpy array. So let me show you, we can pass this in array band and after that we can call array band. Okay. Now let's create two dimensional array. We can say matrix. So let's say mat and to creating two dimensional array, make sure we have double square bracket. So one will enclose all the different elements of in inner square bracket. So let's say one, two, three, and then another in a, another bracket four, five, six. And another one, seven, eight, nine. So make sure we have internal square bracket and the extra is square bracket in the two dimensional array. Okay. Now, similarly, I can pass this np dot array and uh, mat and I can use this in array two. Okay. Now I can call this array two. So see, we have got two dimensional array now. You can create multiple rows let's say if i create one more let's say five six eight seven if i run this this and so you will see the fourth row as well okay now suppose if i need to add these two array if I need to add the two array value, so how will I add? Let me create another array with the two dimensional. So let's say uh, I can call this mat two, and uh, then I'm taking let's say same value. Okay, and uh, array three. I'm assigning this value into array three and uh, np dot array mat two okay now i can call this array three so see we have this similar array now if i need to add this so how will i add this let me show you i can assign another variable array four and i can simply do array two plus array three Okay, so 
let me check where is the mistake array 2 is fine and uh, okay a a r we have a r r not a a r now let me execute yeah now i can run this a r r for so see now the addition of this value 1 plus 1 2 4 plus 4 8 7 plus 7 14 and 6 plus 6 12 so like this it did addition for all of the whole matrix i can say now let's say i have this array 4 and uh, i need to add x axis by or y axis so we have two axis if you see here so this is the x axis horizontally and vertically is y axis so let's say if i need to sum on axis by uh, like x axis so it would be like 2 8 10 and 12 uh, 22 and uh, 36 so like this we can do so how we can do let me show you we can simply type array 4 dot sum and then axis equals to 0 so see it's 36 46 and 50 16 16 32 and 42 and 46 similarly it is 50 now if i need to access uh if i need to sum on you know this uh x axis so how we will do we can use simply array 4 dot sum and now this time we can say access equals to 1 see 2 4 6 6 4 4 10 plus 2 12 8 plus 10 and 12 is 30 okay so like this we can do the sum on different axis x axis and y axis okay now let me show you uh the another function there are lots of function or let lots of matter to create arrays but we are going to see the important one so let's say we have np dot zeros so if i type two so it will create one dimensional array with two value let's say if i type five then it will show the five values now if i need to create two dimensional array so what i need to do np dot zeros and i need to write i need to include two brackets and i can say 2 comma 2 let's say so see now we have 2d array so to creating 2d array we have to put basically one extra bracket okay similarly we have method for one as well np dot buns and again if i type simply 5 it will give me the result like this and if i basically use 5 comma 5 and include another bracket then it will create 2 d array okay okay now let me show you one more thing uh if you remember we have range in python here we have a range np dot arrange so if i pass the value let's say 10 so it will provide 0 to 9 basically n minus 1 see in the one dimensional array and uh, if i need to basically let's say provide the start value so i can do as well like 0 to 10 let's say so it can do that as well now let's say if i want to see only even number so i can simply write two here so basically what it is doing it has start value stop value and what is the step we are going to do okay if i write here one two ten and then two then it will give one three five seven nine okay and 
let's say if I need to check the shape of this one. So how can I do? I can put this value into the S and let's say S S has array and if I do S dot shape. So see, we have this five value. Okay, basically we have five value and it is one dimensional array. Now, if I need to, you know, uh, reshape the value. So how we can do? Let me show you. So let's take another one np dot arrange and uh, let's say we have value till nine. Okay. arrange okay now if i see the shape i will get this one this is the basically this is calling the function name so what i need to do i need to assign in s1 and now i can use s1 dot shape here okay now let's say i need to reshape this so this is into the one dimensional array. If I need to convert it into 2D, 2D array. So for that we can use reshape. But make sure whenever we use reshape, our calculation would be the, our calculation basically it should be matching with the array. So let me show you what I'm trying to say. S1 dot reshape and i can so it's not three column three it should be three comma three so now you can see we have total nine value and it is you know uh, like divided into three rows and three column so the count should be match if you you know put four here then it will give the error why because as i mentioned always count should be same whenever you are uh, reshaping the array so if i do one nine it will work like this okay and if i do nine one it will work it has nine rows and one column so like this we have to identify like what all are the combinations and as per the requirement we can reshape the array okay i hope i will be able to explain the same now let's discuss about some more function so np dot len space and we have to pass three argument i will show you i will tell you what exactly we are doing okay so what basically len space do we have to pass the starting value and the ending value and the start value and end value and how many partition we want to do using these two values in between two values so if i say 10 then it will do 10 partition so it is equally distributed the value if I say 100, it will give the 100 as well. So that's why I show you with the example of 5, so you can understand. So it's starting value, it's end value, and after that, how many partition we want to do. Okay. Now we have random, and in random, we have rand so again let me pass the value i will okay so what random is doing so basically it is uniform transformation and it is converting the value based on that okay so this is the random value and uh, Similarly, we have rand n. 
एल पी डॉट रैंडम डॉट रैंडन रैंडन गिव से नंबर फ्रॉम नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वेयर रैंड गिव से नंबर फ्रॉम यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एज आई मैंशन एब सो रैंड एन गिव्स ए रियल नंबर बिटवीन माइनस वन टू वन ओके सो दैट्स द रीजन इफ आई यू नो एंटर दिस सो इट इज गिविंग वैल्यू बिटवीन माइनस वन टू पॉजिटिव वन प्लस वन ओके एंड इफ आई यू नो टाइप द लेट से आई नीड ओनली टू पार्टीशन so it will do two and if i say i need 10 partition so whatever i will uh, put here accordingly it will do okay now there is another one np dot random dot rand int so let's say i am looking for value between let's say Ten to hundred. So I am looking value between ten to hundred. So it has provided forty two. Okay. So it has it can provide any random value. And if I run again, so let's say seventy six. So it can provide ah uh, any random value whenever you will run. It can provide you a different value. Okay. so i think this is all which i want to discuss about as a part of this video thank you everyone